Here's a run through of some exciting new features that are coming to the Pixel Perfect app. The first one I would like to show you is the ability to use multiple pixels. Now this is something that we've been asked for a lot, uh, but we've shied away from doing for some technical reasons and also because of uh, Facebook's guidance on the fact you should only have one set of pixels per store. Uh, however, we have done it. Uh, you can add your master pixel up here which will be applied to all events. Uh, and down here you can add a second pixel and a third pixel if you wish to do that. We've also got the ability put in the app to control which events uh, the pixel fires for. Now typically you'd, you'd want all of them, so we'd, we'd check all of those events. And the pixel will fire for all of them. But some advanced marketers only want certain events, for example, add to cart or purchase or um, page view or view content. They just want specific events. So with these pixels, you have the ability to select uh, only the events you want, and the pixel will only fire for those events. Uh, it will also support information such as niche categories. So if you tag your um, products with a niche, uh, so for a pet store, or cat or dog, for example, uh, that niche information will be passed with this pixel, but also with any other additional pixels that, that you might have on your store. So that's a, a really exciting thing, the uh, support for multiple pixels right there in the app. Uh, one other thing that I would like to show you is the... Um, the ability to create a product catalog and now that is some that's a, a pain point for many people because you have to go into Facebook you have to create the product catalog you have to get the feed code and you have to paste it and you have to go and fetch the feed and 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 quite often it'll break so I'd like to show you what we've done within the app to simplify that process for you so you'll see down here on the Facebook settings uh, what it will normally do is it will prompt you to um, associate yourself with Facebook. You'll see a connect to Facebook button appear there. So it'll do the, the authentication to Facebook. It will then prompt you to select which business manager account you want to use. Obviously, people have multiple accounts. Uh, and then you can go ahead and create the pixel, and, uh, sorry, create the catalog. So that's what I've done here. I've hit the create catalog button. You can say you can see it says your linked Facebook catalog and feeder as follows. This is the business account I'm using and the ID. This is the catalog that it's created and the ID. And this is the feed from the app that it's put into the catalog for me. And it has also associated the pixel with the catalog for me. So it's created Pixel Perfect Catalog for secretsboutique.myshopify.com, which is the name of my store. Uh, and it's added a feed, Pixel Perfect product feed for secretsboutique.myshopify.com. Done. Um, if it breaks, and Facebook does break sometimes, the feed can get out of step, the products get out of step or whatever, um, it's really easy to recreate it. So you just come here and go recreate catalog and feed. Uh, it says select the business account you want to use. Well, I've only got one, so that's fine. You can see it's associated here as myself. I'll go ahead and create the catalog and feed. One, two, three, four, five, six, done. Uh, and that's it. So it's created me a catalog in Facebook. It's created a uh, product feed for me. It's put that product feed into the catalog for me. It's associated the pixel ID with the catalog for me. And it's gone ahead and fetched those products. So um, Pixel Perfect Product Catalog is the name. There's the feed, these are the IDs of it, done. It, it doesn't get any more simple than that. So that was quite a quite a big pain point for a lot of people around the product catalogue, um, and that's just taken that away for you.